what kind of keeps me going is like those those community relationships, right? And those bonds and those networks of trust, which then become like a new family in a way. With Friends of Chinatown, for example, they've been doing so much mutual aid work around vaccine, um, you know, equity and, and getting uh, vaccines in people's arms. Those youth are there going, oh, like, don't worry, I'll walk with you to the vaccine site or um, I'll translate for you or I'll do this or I'll do that. Like they're figuring out ways to make it work, to make this a comfortable experience for not just their elders, but like our community of elders. I saw one or two grandchildren supported grandmas. Okay, so that they can get vaccinated and they assured the grandmas that it's safe, it's okay. We are getting vaccine, why not you? Our biggest barrier is when we do our outreach is a language barrier. But we do go in a team of five ambassadors together and among all five ambassadors we do speak a total of 15 different languages. We also have some great learning tools that TNO, Michael Guerin, um, you know, Public Health have sent us. Little small videos that are five minute long. A lot of the information regarding vaccines isn't very legible for older generations, but a lot of uh, the kids in my generation, they're definitely reaching out to their grandparents, their parents to kind of inform them about the vaccine and everything, especially because of uh, like high school education, science classes, and even people in university, they just have more research and information available to them. So having that conveyed to their parents or grandparents is really important. And I see a lot of kids doing that these days.